if we end up asking him a question and he start getting all sensitive thinking it's fighting time? Thank you, Sia. What you mean? Yeah, get him, beans. This ain't even in time. Thank you, baby. Um, Because, you know, we ask each other hard hitting stuff. Like, we, we, we be wanting to get down to, like, the truth. So, hopefully, y'all don't ask them some of the comments they say something and make people get offended. You know, they be coming from churches and other sides of the world on this app. So, everybody get defensive once they've been attacked. Oh, I, I hear you. So, you can't ask certain think, people something that they don't get. I know I can I ask think you can anything. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but, well, I, I, well, I, don't, I don't think I think smooth is cool. Oh, you, you think he does? Cool? Like he got it. You think he does? Cool? Okay, I'm just asking. They say he's fairly open. Okay, that's good. The girls say they take yeah. it up. They saying he good, he's smooth, he open. So that's good moment. Yeah, y'all yeah, 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 pick some good people for his side. And then y'all yeah, tell me y'all want to come to your side. Unless Flacco won the call. I don't know. You still talk to Flacco? I do from time to time. I'm actually going to line him after you. And um, Okay. But, but I don't know. He be doing his own thing. And we need somebody new. Remember last time he was kind of like sitting there? Okay, 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 okay. We need somebody no, with energy, not... momentum, questions. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, sir. I'm, I'm with it. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, we don't want nobody to be sensitive. Is that yeah. admin's going to be working? <laughs> not mine. Admin's better let the people talk, unless you're trying to ask, say something to me and work my nerves. You get to troll me twice per coming, that's it. By the third, oh, what, hey, hey, what, <laughs> what about finesse? What about finesse? Oh, finesse good. Finesse would be good. Finesse can be staring dumb in the camera. Like, he need to learn how to separate his own content from different content. If he's staring dead in the camera, I'm going to be weak. I'm going to be so like, oh, my God, finesse. Ask a, yeah, he did be like. <laughs> finesse, get involved. Interact. You know, he comes from a, a, a platform to where his comments can really carry his room like he ain't really got to do too much the girls carry it for him so yeah, i don't know yeah. but i would love for him to come because he'll spice it up yeah. you know I mean? he makes yeah, we'll, some we'll, stupid i don't know we'll, we'll all but in, uh, what was that about who's my enemy i ain't got no enemy what was that about what was that about in brandon's room earlier yeah uh we was lined up. I'm not lined up. I, I went in his room earlier and uh, to ask him about the update. Right? You know, I don't want to. You know, I don't want to continue to bring too much light to it. But yeah, I asked him about the update, and then uh, Genova had came through. So when Genova had came through, Brandon asked Genova to come up, and we just asked Genova some questions. And then after Genova left, Finesse came in. She came up. Yeah. Oh, that was spicy. It went down. I, I was pretty cool. It wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't too. It wasn't all that. What are you wearing under? Uh, what am I wearing under? A uh, uh, sweating thing to make me sweat. Uh huh. I wonder. I wonder. I don't know. I think Genova liked this moment. I think she ran her way, and you know, it's bringing her a lot of momentum and stuff like that. So she she's enjoying her moment. She enjoying it. Yeah. Finesse got caught up. I mean, that was crazy. That's, that's really, really crazy. I don't, I don't believe he got caught up, though. Am I the only one who don't believe he got caught up? Me, I don't I think know. he gay either. He I don't think he gay. I think he was using her for a CPN, but was doing all that flirting. Y'all know how men are. Y'all know how y'all are. Doing yeah. all that flirting, doing all that over-talking to try to get y'all away, because he think he got to finesse everybody. And that just led on yeah. to a stream of text messages. Like, now you got... Now you got too much back and forth going on, and it look crazy. I feel like this, and this is probably just how I feel. But if they've been talking mm. for eight to six months, and he ain't pulled up on her yet, living in the same city, then he was trying to probably finesse her back. Because if he really wanted something, if he really wanted it, even if he was flirting, knowing, knowing, let's just say deep down, he probably knew, right? But he was probably mm -hmm. doing it for his game without, you know what I'm saying? But if he didn't meet up with her and do nothing on the low, then... I'll let you know he wasn't really. I definitely he think he's doing for a game. He yeah. even got fifty dollars out of Genova. Like he got fifty dollars. How you fifty? How you get any money out of a scamming person? Cause she does scam the CPNs and stuff. You was able to get a little a little coin. You know, like yeah. it was that top game over there. Uh huh. Yeah. It was the top game over there. 
So let me ask you a question. Real quick. No, she gave it back. Um, yep, it's Franny. Franny, no, she gave it back. She gave so, it back so to me last you, night. Would you would you would you mess with a guy if he was honest with you and told you that he was bi? No, and I ain't trying to be, you know, my small uh small minded or anything. But that's my shit. You know what you like. You know what you like. I, I but, shit. Like, you, come on. Ain't small. You know what you that's, want? Because a lot think of people about it like inside. This. Go ahead. Go ahead. My bad. No, go ahead. A lot of people inside. A lot, a lot of people inside of Brandon's life, I asked. I was surprised. And they all said, a lot, not all, but a lot of people was like, yeah, they would. I would like put it through. Yeah. I like put it through as long as they keep it real. Yeah, it's twenty twenty three. But why? So, not only not are you totality. exposing yourself to more than the average, <laughs> like That's amount my word. of disease, my word. things of that nature. Me. Yeah. You just everywhere you go, you may think your man looking. I mean, your man looking at other men. So not only do you you got to go by him looking at other men, other women. The disease rate is even more higher. Like, he more prone to test than the average person that's, you know, maybe a little bit more slow or committed to relationships or anything. Like, it's just too much going on. All right, all right, but but what I'm saying though is, a lot of these, a lot of these so-called, be on the low anyway. So if somebody's coming out letting you know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna say it like this. Like I said earlier, it's more women that's bi and gay than people that that's heterosexual and it's like that it's, it's just like that in the world now so if somebody can have the mm -hmm. space to come out and be honest wouldn't that be better than somebody that's down low that's, that's acting like he, he that's he way just, better so i can i can i can see that what's up og rude i can definitely see that meaning you would want somebody to come and tell you up front however it's still not likely for me to date that person because of just the the, the difficulty within it like it's just too much going on that's just too much going on when you say i'm going to go hang out with the boys not i mean i'm not insecure but i mean are you really going to hang out you know mm. what i'm saying with the boys or you know yeah. men do strange things when they all together behind closed doors they do some of the strangest stuff i don't know do they not y'all already man. do enough as straight men that be a little strange Right. I don't think straight men do strange things. I, I ain't never, what? I ain't never did nothing. I ain't never did nothing strange. In the comments, in the comments, when y'all see them little videos, wait, wait a minute, how would you know? What you do a, straight men do that's already enough? That's kind of strange. What's that? Let the boys I'm gonna just let the be girls boys. Tell you down there. First of let all, the boys just first be of all, I never agree with. And I know it's a sign of sportsmanship or whatever. I never agree with when a man make a basket or whatever that the next man, right, should be touching or grabbing or snagging. I was just sparkle. You got it right out of, out of my mind. When they tap each other's butt. But your girl can't even touch your booty without you flinching and going crazy. But when you jump, dribbling a yeah. basketball, that's okay. That's I, don't, okay. I don't do it. I, I ain't never tapping. I don't even like to talk. Let's switch the subject. Uh-huh. Cause you know that's a good that's a good tip. Have y'all ever seen a man when a girl touches his butt, he be like, hey, hey, don't do that, don't touch my hand, don't do that. They go crazy. But then come out good game, right? Right, come out good game. You come out good game. I don't wanna hear that good game chick. I don't wanna hear that. <laughs> Thank you, girl. I know I ain't crazy. Girl, please, but they don't flinch in when that nigga smack it. Yeah, okay, make sure you ain't crazy with it. Okay, thank you. Yeah, I don't want to hear that all, good game. I don't want to hear that. Look, look, all men don't do it though. All men don't be. All men don't. Hmm. I mean, all men don't be doing hmm. it. You know what I'm saying? So hmm. I don't really know. He a woman really touch it. He just. Hmm. Well. <laughs> they I mean, do. I, they do strange stuff, Scott Stats. They do some of the strangest, weirdest things. You just gotta look at me and all that. Mm. Tell my good game. Don't tell me good game. Please, Trill. Don't tell me good game. <laughs> oh, no, let's go, baby. Let's go. <laughs> let's go, baby. Good job, baby. Good, good job. Good Ooh, job. This is my good, good game together. This is my good game. <laughs> we might as well do this again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, can't, I can't fuck. I can't. Uh, uh, I don't know. I just feel like. I just feel like this be like. I feel like you more free if you just honest. That's why I like. Y'all know me. I ain't got no filter. I'll be admitting some stuff that ain't nobody gonna admit. You know what I'm saying? 
But I'm free, though. At least I know I'm free. And guess what? I meet a lot of people that's in sync with me because I'm free. People appreciate that. You know what I'm saying? So if you just lay down everything on the table at first, a woman going to appreciate that. She going, you know, what's not for you is not for you. What's for you is for you. So just living your truth. That's how I look at it. Okay, so this is my thing. What do you think is a good reason to lie? Now you on, now you on the audition show. You on the audition okay. now. What is a good I, reason to lie? It's never a good reason to lie, unless it's to the police. Unless it's to the police and it's, and it's judge. Okay, so why do you think men lie? The cops uh, is good reason. Why, the same reason why I think females lie. I think that, I don't think it's a gender thing. I think that uh, they shouldn't, but I think that. Uh, you know, some people don't be, they be afraid to either lose that person or whatever, even though that's, that's not a good excuse, because whatever they did, they, they can lose that, even if they can lose, they shouldn't have did it in the first place, so, um, I've been guilty of it, I've had people that, I've been in a relationship that's been guilty of it, so it's just like, I think there's the things that we do, you know, that we should, we, we make the wrong call on our integrity, I don't think nobody mm. should do it though. But okay, so do you think is do you think lies are necessarily thought out, or do you think a lie can't is so impulsive? Meaning, because you did it at that moment when you confront it, you know, eventually, like I mean, like when it's dead in front of you, it's like impulsively you just have to lie right then on the spot. Or do are lies like planned, already thought out? Uh, you I know think, what I'm saying? I think it's a, yeah, I think it, it's, a, it's on an individual basis. Yeah, I think it's both. Like Mr. Patru said, like you, it can, it just depends on the situation at hand. You know what I'm saying? Like. For the most part, and I know a lot of people are probably going to say this, but for the most part, I don't lie. It's very rare. So, I, you know, I have lied before, but, like, I try not to ever lie because my pop told me, he's like, if you're lying to somebody, you're making that per person superior over you. If you feel like you got to lie to somebody, then you lift that person up because you feel like you got to lie to that person. So I always try right. to get my mind, like, wait a minute. If i got to lie to this person, that means I'm putting them above me. You know what I'm saying? So I try to keep that in mind. Yeah, I'll try to keep that in mind. That mark. is so true. It's something about them as to where What's up, mother you're feeling like you're protecting them, but it's not even protecting. It hurts. To me, it hurts more when I find out the truth, when I gave you room and opportunity to tell Ooh. me the truth. I got to find out later. Ooh, that that boils. That burns. Ooh. That's crazy. Ooh. That's crazy to me. Okay, let's see. <laughs> We're gonna switch the subject. Yeah. We're gonna, we gonna switch the subject on that one, boy. Um, what is having so, a conversation? Right, don't think about so it. Don't say, put it in a box. Don't put it in a box. Okay, so let me, they, they, let me do this. Let me do this. Let me say this. Are you the type of person? See, I'm the type of person that's like this. If you lie to me, let's say we're in a relationship and you lie to me, right? And it can hurt mm -hmm. you. And you know it can potentially, you can potentially break up. But I'm the type of person that's like this. This is how I am. I'm a little different. Y'all might call me a fool. But if you tell me the truth, even if it, it could be something, if you tell me the truth, that's going to make me like you even more. Like, I feel like I can trust you if you just tell me the truth. That's I can agree to that. No, like, I, I'm attracted to that because if anything, if my back is against the wall and yours is too, for you to come and tell me the truth, it's very yeah. rare to find an honest person. So it's kind of attractive, even though they probably don't did the worst type of thing ever that's it. in history. That's, it is so appealing. It. It, it, sound, it sound crazy. It sound bad, but it's so rare to find an honest person. So I would definitely get turned on by it. And, let me, and, and let me just say this. And, and let me just say this. And this one's that's why I respect this woman on the side of me right now. Um, Jessica. I was told something. I was told something in the. You said Jessica. <laughs> I was told like 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 I was told like God God dropped the download on me right. And I know some of y'all. I'm like what. But God let me know something was going on, right? So I, I asked, I asked her about it, you know. And when I asked her about it, she could have lied to me. She, got, I'm like, look, I know this is going on. I know, I know for a fact this is going on. Just be honest with me. And it was something that you can't come back from, right? But the reason why she was able to come back from it because she told me the truth. And that's why we right here we still bonding because she she was honest with me about it. Mm. You feel me? And that made me respect her way even more. You know what I'm saying? And I know a lot of people are like, how you going to respect it when she, somebody does something? But I respect the honesty. Even when the, even when the pressure is on. We, oh, yeah. Come on. Let me get a luxury car. Let me get a luxury car. No, no, no. Even when the pressure, like let me get, no, let me get, no, let me get a luxury car. Let me get, get a luxury car. Yeah. I ain't asked nobody to run it up on me. I ain't asked nobody to run it up on me. Damn, I ain't asked nobody to run it up on me. 
Yeah, y'all got me. Y'all got me. Chigal, you know the girls love me. Thank you, everybody. It's my birthday tale. I can't lose. I can't lose my birthday. Right. And, and I always try to do this. And what I try to do, what I try, I think I was talking about this either earlier today or yesterday. What I try to do is I try to be always graceful when I find out, like when, when somebody, like when I know that somebody did something to me, I always try to be grateful because I know that I probably did something too. You see what I'm saying? I, I, I probably mm -hmm. did something too. I always, I always look at myself. But a lot of people don't never look at themselves. But on top of looking at themselves, I still know how to be honest. So it's two things that I look at. I say, okay, have you did what they did? Okay, but are you honest when, when confronting and giving the chance? And I know that I'm honest, right? So I try to be like, well, let me give them the chance at least to be honest. And I just go off their honesty. You know what I'm saying? And that's how mm -hmm. I measure a lot of things. But you know because what? If, if I, go ahead. Honesty is developed. I can tell you that much. Honesty, early birthday, y'all, July 22nd, July 22nd. Uh, but it's my birthday month, so that's why I say it every day. Um, honesty is something that is developed because a lot of people, and I'm pretty sure if they was in a relationship and it went kind of bad, you know, lying was a part of it, right? So mm. it's given now when you're in the next relationship and you're building with that partner, you have to set the foundation immediately. Like you cannot wait until you do something wrong or when I do something wrong, I'll be making a like, okay, yay, okay, we'll be acting like, well, 1130, 1130-ish, 1130, okay? Already been. Um, you can't wait till something bad happens. Then it's time for everybody to be honest because that foundation was never set in the beginning, in the first place. I'm just winging right. it with you the same way I probably winged it in the past. Does that make sense? And sometimes old habits are hard to break if they're not practiced from the start. The yeah. moment we establish, I'm with you, you're with me, this is what I experienced, babe, in my past, and this is why it did not work for me. So now while I'm with you, can we work on these? And it's okay to say, I have problems in this area, okay? I feel like everybody in the beginning, they need to sit down and establish your problems, maybe some of your weak points, da 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 so I don't either tap on them or continue practicing the same bad behaviors that you've already experienced to make you an awful person and in turn make me an awful person. Does that make sense? Yes, it is. So let me ask okay. you this. Do you think that... Uh dishonesty and deception somebody being deceptive do you think those are two things that, that coincide or those are, those can be two different things if somebody's deceiving if somebody can be dishonest i think they coincide with one another because okay so because i get what you say like deception or just totally straight up dishonesty. They definitely yeah. coincide with one another because you, you're completely not wholeheartedly telling the truth. Like you deceive me or you dishonest. They go they go hand in hand. Yeah, they go hand in hand if you ask me. That's the same. That's the same. I agree. Thing. I agree. I agree. That goes hand in hand. You said TKO, when you tell the truth in a the relationship, they still leave you here. I don't. If somebody tell me the truth in a relationship, like I was telling Royce, like, and it depends on, all right, so what I tell myself also is, is this woman worth the risk of that happening again? And is she worth the risk of me trying to rebuild the trust? That's what you got to ask yourself, because a lot of people, they tend to hold things against a person. Once they've been lied to or cheated on, they will hold that. And I'll be like, why continue the relationship if you're not even trying to rebuild that trust? It's like you're just putting yourself in something toxic. So with me, I know I'm not going to enter in a relationship if I know I can't trust you no more. Once mm -hmm. I know I can't trust you no more just because I love you, that doesn't mean I'm going to continue the relationship. I'm going to cut it off completely. Now, if I can still trust you, or I feel like you're worth that risk that I can trust, then I'm going to try to go through it. But it's a lot of people who start the relationship over again because they love them, they're comfortable, but they don't have no trust. And it's mm -hmm. probably failed. Because y'all don't have no trust no more. If you guys cannot trust you one another, it's, it's a waste. So, it's definitely a waste. Ain't nothing else you can do with that. Once the trust yes, is gone, it's gone. Nothing. That's just how it is. You know, once that, once that trust, once I know in my head, like it's like a switch. Like once I know in my head, like I know for a fact that this is going to keep on. Like if, if, if I'm to a point to where I'm like, I know for a fact that's going to keep on always happening. And I can never, tr like, and I'm questioning everything. Mm -hmm. I talk about everything. I'm like, shit, hey, hey, why you didn't pick up the phone earlier? I didn't think that, like. If I'm questioning everything, 
I'm not gonna put myself through that no more. I'm not gonna put that myself through that. That's, that's a huge issue. And and knowing and you knowing know what I'm saying? Like, like, <coughs> Okay. Okay. We gonna we gonna make I ain't gonna make huh? it personal. I ain't gonna make it personal. Hold on. I, ain't, I, ain't, I, ain't, I ain't. We just talking okay. in general. <laughs> we just talking in general. We just talking in general. But sometimes that type of feeling will make you just, you know, go out and think the most and think the worst and think the most craziest stuff. And it don't even be. So it just makes situations worse and bad and bad to worse. It's not healthy. It's not healthy. It's not. Yeah, it's not healthy. So yeah, so after the, after that question, it was in the comments like, but if somebody, if I know somebody's being honest with me, even though it can break my heart, I feel like it's that's honorable. I don't know why. I know that sounds crazy. I feel like it's just honorable. Like, damn, I know I can break this nigga down with what I'm saying right now, but I'm gonna step out, even if they can break our relationship and you never talk to me again. I'm gonna do the honorable thing and, and tell the truth anyway. That's gonna make me say, you know what? I, I can fuck with you. Like, hey. that sounds weird, but like, I'm gonna. You gotta I think about it like this. We can work. We, we can work we on all... it. All of us, right, in general, everybody in the live, everybody in the world. If we learn about smaller stuff, imagine when big stuff come to arrive or major life decisions or anything of that nature. You're going to always find yourself lying to try to cover up a lying because it's just the easier way out. So you don't want to, no, you don't want to build on lying. You really, really don't. You better stop when you try to take my street. I'm going to be so mad. You're going to be so mad. Now, we ain't yeah, really going to pay it. You better not. We're, gonna, we're just going to pay attention no, this time. No, y'all. We're just going to pay attention. Don't, don't give them a bean. Don't give them one. Give them all the beans that y'all would have sent when I'm not lying. We're, okay? <laughs> this so, is Queen Help So, me. look. So, look. You're going you gonna to help, you gonna have to help me a little bit because I got to run for like at least five minutes. Cause right now, I'm walking like one of these old ladies. So, so, so kind of help me. Help, okay, help look me what you did. Up Thank you so much, Ooh, Queen Me. Thank you. No. Chef, you know what? I'm so mad at you. I'm so mad at you, Chef. I went to your live and you was nowhere to be found. Twice. Three times. I'm mad at you. Are you in yeah. that final thing now? Or whatever? Because I'm not keeping up with the events. I would not. I don't usually. I, now, I ain't going to lie. I did fall asleep. But I fell asleep like at least two of those times. But I got up the third time. <laughs> I ain't going to even lie. I did get to sleep. You know I got a one-track mind. So oh, really? Man. But still, I'm mad because when I. I got a, I got a question. Okay, ask your question. I got a ask question, question, Royce. When was the last time you was in a real relationship? A real one? Like, like a serious one? Um. <laughs> Get him, y'all. It's my birthday. Now, this is my thing. Even real, real. Oh. Thank you. I gave you some beans back. Real in regards of it was still bad or like a real just good one. Not, I mean, it's not about good or bad. It's just about something okay, that was serious. Okay, something that was serious. Put on your heart Something straight. that was serious. I would say, I would say, like two something years ago, maybe, maybe. I would say two some years ago. Two years ago. Maybe. Yeah. Hold on. That's not a hey, clear whatever. answer. Two years ago or not? <laughs> hey, loyalty. I would say that because, um. I would say probably right now because we're proud. Um, I would say that because, you know, I've been on probably Bigo for almost two something, almost going on three, and it was definitely right before Bigo. And he was a Pisces, and it was the worst relationship I ever had in my life. Hey, whatever. He was a Pisces. And why you say that? Because, why you say it was the worst? So he was necessarily dealing with coming off of an engagement that never happened. So he proposed to a woman, right, before I came. He proposed to somebody, and she said no. Okay, so and mind you, they were together for about four years, Woo. right? So Woo. now, the way the timeline sets up, y'all, but I didn't notice at the time of meeting the individual, he was probably only a few months off of that breakup, meaning his heart is crushed, he crying, she said no, blah 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 blah, you know, and then he meets me, okay. So it's given, I talked to him like three months on the on the phone, like maybe three, four months. No, so I wasn't a rebound or anything of that nature, because the time should have been long enough to where you should have got over whatever you got you had to get over. So it was good as it was like the first beginning of our relationship, it was good, everything was great, you know, we're hanging out, da da da. And then she caught wind 
of him being with another woman. So it was crazy, y'all. Like, the whole situation was crazy. Um, She found out about us in a park or whatever the case may be. And so, you know how that goes. Hold on, hold on. You, hold on, hold on. The park? Man at the time hold on, hold on. Hold on. Y'all got caught Meaning, in the park? Okay, so he so it was it was it was around the time. Let me tell you what it was around the time. When the world shut down and everybody was marching for our rights and black history and everything. So this day everybody had just got yeah. done marching and the whole crowd ended up at the park so they could do like the whole speeches and everything on the stage. Okay, yeah, TKO get to the tea, y'all. He the yeah. tea jumper tonight. <laughs> so in the midst of that, he's riding the, through the scooter. Everything is Black Lives Matter. Everybody chilling in the park. Da, 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 da. And I see him talking to this kid. And I ain't think nothing of it. I ain't think nothing of it. Okay. Now, some time going by. He's still talking to this little kid. So I go over there. And I'm like, hey, what's going on? And mind you, he does track. Like, he does uh, athletics. You know, he's, a, um, he's an Olympian. So I'm thinking maybe... This is when the kids he be coaching at the schoolhouse or something. So when I go over there, I'm just like, what's going on? You know, what's going on? Hey, how you doing? What's up, what's what's up, up babe? You know, what's going on? He's talking to the little boy, whatever. And um, he was like, right. just give me a second. Just give me a second. It wasn't his kid. Right. I'm like, thank you. Who was his kid? It wasn't his kid. He was like, all right, baby. Get back. Oh, it wasn't his kid. It was her kid, though. So let me, let me, let me. Hold on. I'm going to get there, y'all. I'm going to get there, y'all. Hey, Jolie. It was her kid. So. It's giving, when I'm walking away, I hear the little boy say, oh, is that her? What? He say, oh, is that her? I'm like, it's her who? So now I'm watching, okay? Now I'm watching, okay? Now I'm watching. So I walk up and I'm letting him talk or whatever, so I'm watching. And then he leaves his house and goes to the house or whatever, whatever, when they get done talking. But I stay in the park. Hey, Miss Baby. And I watch this little boy go over to this woman. But mind you, he light skinned, the mama dark skin. So I'm trying to figure out what's the connection, what's really involved, what's really going on. I walk over there to the stadium, acting like I'm filming the show. But I'm really looking and trying to see what's going on with this little boy and who this woman is and everything. <gasps> Girl, I just had an epiphany. That's the X. I just had an epiphany. That was the X. And there was a lot going on. So, mind you, after the whole situation, I walked past the woman. Like, everybody get ready to go to the cars or whatever. Like, me in the house. I walked past the woman. I looked at her face. And I'm just looking. I'm looking at the whole situation. Oh, this is her son. And she did an X that said no. And it was just a lot going on. So, ever since that moment, Game started to play. Lives yeah. were starting to well. Right, but this, his schedule was starting to change. I just knew something was going on. Like, I just okay. knew something was going on with this guy. Okay. And you know, ever since then, I ain't trust him. I just knew he cheated. I knew he went back. I knew her. Her and him was going through it and everything. Uh huh. Sparkle for sure. For for sure. And it was just the worst time of my life. Just listening to well, his on. lies, listening to his infidelity, oh. just experiencing that like it was really it wasn't it wasn't mm -mm, it wasn't what it needs to be it really wasn't so i mean i'm I, I, i'm saying but did you catch him she did, he, did you catch him she i told him or i told was him, it him a hunt? No. was it text I told, messages i i, I seen i seen what messages, was it thank you asia but thank see you, i'm real and i never had to do this in no relationship ever 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 but on him I had to really, I had to really get into my investigative mode. Yeah, he really wasn't Mika, and then he had to eventually get out of that because she was playing him like a fiddle and was still going between that man that was in the part with her too. This other man named Steve. He was going back in between this and this only because she just wanted to mess with him because he had somebody. Does that make sense? So it was a lot going on. But, look but that, I told him, I did. But I look, the the style, though. Um, messages and. I found out where she was, where she stayed at. You know, I staked out the area and everything like that. You know what I'm saying? I seen his car around there, so I just knew. And I really, you know, sat and contemplated, like, what I should do. Should I bust his shit up? Should I bust her shit up? You know, what should I just do? And you know what? I just Ooh. did nothing. You know what I'm saying? I did nothing. And I, and I went home, so, and I staked out, and I got as much evidence as I needed. So when it was time for me to present my case and let him know I didn't want to be with him no more, 
then you know that was just that. But you know what? Yeah. Thank you, Carmen. He was so he was just so mm, he just he was just able to still come back in and out, back and forth. And until I started to grow my strength and to get up and say, like, enough is enough, you can never come back ever again. But it took it took me a long time to do that though. It really did. It really took me a long time. But but hold on, hold on. Cause you said he was the worst. I don't think he was the worst. I think it just hurt the worst. Mm -hmm. I think sometimes that's what people I think that's what's up because because the thing about this, like I'm gonna ask you some questions. It's gonna be uncomfortable and, and, and mm -hmm. I'm gonna be honest. Because anything that I, I feel like is the worst to me, when I think about it, it's a polarity to it. It's always gonna be the opposite. So sometimes with the worst, it, it actually be the best times too. Absolutely. And that's what makes it the worst because Absolutely. it hurts the worst. I can agree. You know what I'm saying? Thank you, Asia. So what I wanna ask you is what made it what made him so hard? Thank you so much, Asia. What made it so hard for you to to let him go to where you went back and forth. It had to be a reason because you ain't no right. dumb bride. It had to be some good things about this man. So what was, Necessarily, what was good about um, I, I would think it was for him to come back. It was lack of company at the time. Um, I'm in a new place. You know, I had I moved upstate a little bit and away from home, and you know, lack of company. And then some days it would just be, you know, you need a conversation, or I was looking for more answers of because I couldn't understand why when I gave you everything you know, good, and I was always, you know, there and, and available, and that's some things I had to learn as a female, not to be so available or so giving or just doing wifely duties without the ring and things of that nature. So, um, you know, just giving a man too much of what he deserved. And so I was trying to understand, if I'm such a great so, woman so to you, then why, like, what was going on? Why, like, why would you do me that way? Or why would you have to feel like you need to lie? When we're adults, you could just tell me up front and I'll just let you go. You ain't got to worry about another woman nagging you and bitching in your ear. You can just go and be happy. All right, so let me ask you this, because I know you said something about not being available or too accessible. Do you want him to be available? Um, Yeah, to a certain degree, but... Let's keep it real. Yes, we're, yes. We're out the, the ego. Because I think that if you're in a relationship to where he's available and he wants you to be, I think it should be reciprocated. If you're being available to him, it should be reciprocated. I don't think it's a such thing as being too accessible. I think it's a, it's a such thing as being too accessible to somebody that's not being accessible to you. Absolutely. You see what I'm saying? That's where it becomes bad. But if it's, if it's equal give and take... And it wasn't equal that. give and take. I would, I would be giving more. So that's where the problem lies. Okay. That's where the problem lies. Oh. Uh -huh. okay. That's where the problem lies. And I had okay. to... I had to because I'm thinking I'm doing the right thing, right? But no, I have to either treat you how you treat me or treat you less because I'm not giving that back. So once I started doing yeah. that, that's when he want to come around. And that's when all the trips wanted to come. And he, he want to take me out for my birthday. All this other stuff I wasn't getting before. Now I'm getting it now. You know what I'm saying? And he's really feeling it because I'm not there. Hey, Splash. Thank you, baby. And yeah, now I'm a prize. But hold on. So, so what but makes no, I should have been that in the beginning. So, so, but the thing about it is, if if he wasn't giving that to you, and he wasn't treating you like a prize from the beginning, I mean, I know you say you didn't have en enough confidence, but even even enough confidence, you got enough sense. Yeah, but it was still so a, it it was still a small time you, you frame. It was still a small time frame. So, us, you know, still dating, mm -hmm. still getting to know each other, you know, we stay over each, each other's home, you know, a mm -hmm. couple nights, but it was still too fresh and new. It was, it was, fre it was, it was fresh enough for her to get in there. And for me to be dealing with that, because as time persisted on, you know, he was more committed then, and he's around now, and he wanna take me everywhere and do the most and everything. And it's like, yeah. no, I was never, I would never be the same. Like I was never that girl again. The girl I gave you in the beginning, like, no, it would never be that again. And I have to know that another person had you, and I'm not doing that, and you know, just it was just. Mm -mm. Yeah, mm -mm. yeah. Mm -mm. So which. Would you say that's like one of your most serious relationships? No, the most serious one I had was was um, one of my my first, and we stayed together for six years, and that was one of the Ooh. best, great, greatest, oh, you, best relationships. You smiling right now, too. <laughs> it was the best you, relationship you of my life. Smiling. Six good, juicy years. Yes. So why y'all break up? Oh, because I you don't got to go into details moved. like why y'all break up. I moved. So imagine me dealing with good and I moved and I date bad. And I told myself I wanted to be single too while I was upstate. And Lord and behold, I got with this dirty bastard. 
But yeah, that's all it was. I moved on to try to better ourselves. He became stagnant, so you, and I just wanted more. So was you on? So when you was in that relationship, was you underage? Like was you like like in your teens or something like that? Um, in my first relationship. Was you yep, like teens? teens growing into adults. Yeah. Yep. So yep. So like 18, 19, 20, oh, 21, so 22, 23. Moved. Yep. Yep. We were teens. Y'all could have made that work. Why y'all didn't make um, that work? I moved Oh, you don't, you don't like, like long distance. Do so you know how long distance and stuff go, but you know it was time for us to t try to see the world and things of that nature. Um, we were like you know prematurely engaged and things of that nature. He asked me to marry him and everything, but I felt like we was we were we were young, you know, just just give it time. And then he started to get comfortable too. Like he started to want to be home and just not do too much. You you were, you were scared of commitment. No, so I'm telling you, you were scared no. of commitment. No, and, uh, not, no. You haven't experienced life yet. Thank you so much. You, you didn't get a chance to experience life yet, so you was like, you were kind of, you was a little scared of commitment. It's okay. No. A lot of people. Are. I would have. I, you, I, you know, I'm gonna be honest. Hold on, let me tell I'm you something. I'm gonna be honest. I think you're right. Yeah. I think you're right. I think you're right. Because <laughs> I had to live. I because you know why? Life. I can tell you what. Why? Because you was young. You hadn't went to college yet. But because it was your best relationship, he engaged to you. That's what every woman wants. But at the same time, you ain't, you ain't got to experience life yet. So it's like, damn, do I want to cut off everything right now? Mm -hmm. Let me. And, and that's I think you're right. I'm, I'm, I'm chop that up. You might have been right. Because I was. What's up, Jerry? Thank you. You know. Right, I know. Not every woman. Look at my troll. What's up, I know? Yeah. Not every woman. But yeah, for definitely for me, I felt like. And at the time, y'all, I was doing a lot. Like, I was. Yeah, not in everyone. the industry, I was really trying to make it for myself, trying to follow my dreams at the time, and still was going to nursing school. So it, it was a really a lot on my plate, and we were young, and man, you know, we were young with our own things and, and growing up fast yeah. and, and stuff of that nature. So I haven't, I haven't made mistakes. I didn't, I, I didn't club because I was in a relationship. I didn't go out to clubs. I didn't do drugs. Or I didn't, you know, typical things that a twenty-something year old would do. I didn't do those things. I was already paying bills and. Mm -hmm. and, and trying to own things and, and flipping my degrees to make more money. I was already on that tip at a young age, so Thank you. Thank you. you know, locking it in. Ooh, so, I wasn't ready. You're right. I so, wasn't ready. So yeah, cause I'm, the, I'm the. I think the reason why I'm so serious now is because I, I like I did all that. I did it at an early age. I started living my life. If I told you how early it was when I started living my life. Like, you know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, thank you, Queen. Y'all, yeah, he gonna whoop me into yeah, my birthday. Don't let him whoop me. He trying to talk, so yeah, I won't take, get no gifts. Whoop him! She, she on the 14th. She on the 14th. She on the 14th streak right now. We gonna chop it down. You know, but uh, yeah, I did everything. I, I did everything at an early age. So it's like now, by now, like my age, like all I want is a. I want to do this shit the right way. I want to have yes. children. I want to settle down. Like I want to do a lot of things. I want to build. I want to get. I want to own a house, land. I'm, I'm, you know, I want to really start doing things in order for that shit to transpire and manifest in my life right now. Uh, because I did it so, I did it all my life. Mm -hmm. I, you know, I didn't been the player player. I didn't been like going to clubs. Like that's why I don't go to yeah. clubs now. You know what I'm saying? It's just I didn't did all that type of shit. Like that's not even exciting to me. You ain't gonna find nothing out there. Well, for me, I'm not no. gonna find nothing. I ain't not finding nothing out there. there. There's nothing out there at the club. Um. Even even when we still been in my twenties, ain't nothing out there. I like adventure. I like vacations. I like going to another state or another country. You know, I like that type of thing. Like big grown up yeah. events, lounges and stuff of that nature. I don't like a weed smoking gangster rap music club. I don't even know the songs. Like No, I can't. Yeah, that's what I like. Yeah. That's what I like. That's what yeah. I like. Hey Rob. Uh, yeah. mm -mm. I mean, I mean, more, I don't got no set number. It can be like one or two. I don't, you know, I just want it with the person I love. That's it. I just want children with the, with the person, person of people I love, man. That's it, you know. I want twins. That's it. You want children? Yep. I want yeah. twins, my boy and my girls. I twins run in my family. I got twin sisters. My father's a twin. Yeah. Yeah, my twin sisters. I got twin sisters, so. I could, I could, you know, who knows? I might have some twins. Mm -hmm. I, I don't, I don't know if I want twins right now at the exact moment, but I may, I may have some twins. Eleven. What's that? Eleven thirty. Oh, I want eleven thirty. Okay, eleven thirty. Um, it's giving very much. I'm definitely gonna have a boy and a girl. I don't know what I want to name my my twins yet. So. 
It just is what it is. Somebody doing the most. Yeah. Yeah. I just think that uh, you just got to know what you want. I think a lot of people really don't know what they want. They they say that, but I think a lot of people just don't know what they want. You know what I'm saying? Um, and that's what it comes down to. Even with me wanting success in my life, with, you know, my career and things I got going or, or things that I want to start, you know, doing and pursuing, I still know what I want family-wise. I still know what I'm pursuing family-wise. And I, it's not just a want for me. I actually pursue it. And I do everything to try to, you know, make that shit happen. Um, but for right now, y'all, because she's looking. Oh! Give me a luxury Yo, car real snipes, quick. Snipes, give me a drive. Snipes, no, no, it's my birthday. Give me a luxury no. car. Give me a luxury yeah, car. Yo, I got a 14th Street. I didn't even notice. I just need a luxury yeah, car. You know she got her snipers over there. She ain't lost today. Yeah, I'm, not him. We, I'm almost on 15. She ain't lost I need to today. get the number 20. Come on, y'all. Come on. If you in the window... If you're in the window, come out. If you're in the window, come out the window and come on my window. side. If you're in the window, come out the window and come on my side. And come on my side. Room, come on, Thank God. you so much, Queen. Oh, so my much, God. Baby. My people. Oh, my God. Appreciate it. Appreciate come it. Come on, y'all. Come on. It's Appreciate my birthday it. month. We're trying to get the number at least let's 15. No! Come let's on, y'all. Come on, push. Yeah, let's win this. Come on, y'all. Come on, y'all. Please, please, please. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Y'all, I just need to dance to the shit game. Oh, my God. She about to snipe. Y'all oh snipe harder. Oh my God, they taking my street. Harder, I'm telling you. Hi, come on, snipe oh harder. Oh my she about God. To snipe, y'all. They about to snipe. Y'all snipe harder. Draco, thank Remember you. Remember what I said. She's going to snipe. Y'all, oh my God, come no. Come on, push, push. Thank you. Thank you, Asia, Girl, Queen Lee, Love Life, Carmen Green, PK, Lady Pisces, and Miss Sean, Drew, Drew, No Love on the... I appreciate you. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad she did. I'm glad she did too. That's why she's so happy with me right over here. I worked and we so hard right now, so on I'm that I'm glad street. she found me too. I worked so hard. I was on number 15. Matter, matter of fact, we're at the gym right now. <laughs> good job, champ. You did a good job. You had a good run. But you know you're going against, you feel me, tea time. You know, you did a good job, though. I just needed one. You know, everything must come from like I'm devastated. That Thank you, everybody. I'm devastated. You, you owe me. You. And it's my birthday. Can you come and throw no, me a drink for my birthday, please? Thank Can you, you throw me two of them? I would really appreciate it. Yo, all the hell you don't cause me. I would really appreciate it. Yeah. Can I get two drinks for my yeah. birthday, please? Okay, let me Thanks. see. Let me, hold on. Let me see if these income, let me see if these income taxes came in real quick. Hold on. Let me see something real quick. Me why? Uh, still, it's still pending. It's still pending. It's still pending. Me white yeah, they might come in in time. It's my though. birthday. It's his birthday early. coming up again. You could have just waited till his birthday came up. My birthday ain't coming up till next year. <laughs> <laughs> you know you, you know you have three, four That's birthdays in the year. You know you be having me on your birthday. You know it. They be giving it to me. They said I was a Virgo. Ooh, what, when what is it, ooh Virgo September coming up in about a couple of months. Yeah. September, so they better they better give me like it's oh, my yeah, birthday. Oh, yeah, that's your other birthday. It is. So you better go live on your birthday again. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to go live. They had a fake, uh, they don't look them what, up. What they had, was, a, they had a fake it? birthday and everything for TKO. It was crazy. So he got two birthdays. Okay, when your real birthday. Yeah, I got two birthdays. I'm the only one in life that got two birthdays. <laughs> I'm September. What day was September? Eighth or something. September what? It was oh, September no. something. Eighth? Oh, no, I can't. Yeah, my real birthday, March the 7th. But my second birthday, September. Something. September or something. <laughs> you yeah. got to look it up again. So make sure. You should not come back to life. No. September 15th? I don't smoke helpful. It's okay to it's okay to look tired because that's exactly what yeah. I am. But I don't smoke now. That is not it. Thank you. Okay, okay. So, so this one about the this one about the do voice. I don't know if we still want to line up and do that. Yeah, let me but I ain't worked out. So let me go work yes. out. I'll see you later. Okay, okay. So like we're gonna we're gonna do it about an hour, hour yes. and a half. What we're gonna do? Like, like let's let's do. Can we do twelve? It's it's seven forty. It's already almost eight. We can do twelve. I don't care. I need some time to work out. I need probably like an hour. I'll be up all night. That's twelve o'clock. Twelve o'clock. I'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> no man. I, I enjoy it though. Everybody, run her up. 
Everybody, matter of fact, everybody goes to her live. I'm about to get off live. Yep. All right. All right, I see y'all. Uh, uh, man, y'all, y'all went hard for me, man. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Y'all went hard for me. Well, I'm about to get, I got to get in here and do some work. You know what I'm saying? I let y'all want to stay on here while I work out. But I got to do some work. I got to do some work. That's why I can't entertain too much of anything. You know what I'm saying?